What is up guys? My name is Jake. I am a music video director. Uh, my company is named J Brown Visuals and I recently switched from the Panasonic GH4 Old Tech to the Nikon Z6 and just finished and uploaded my first full music video with it. So this video is breaking down what you can expect to see with it in different situations. This was all shot at nighttime so I pushed the ISO, tested autofocus, got to see how it holds up to color grade somewhat. I'm still learning how to fully take advantage of the camera. I knew my Panasonic very well. Uh, this new menu system and new body is completely different. My basic setup for what you'll see here is I had two pieces of equipment. My Nikon Z6 with a 24 to 70 f4 lens, the kind of kit lens. That's everything I shot on that. It's the only lens I currently own. And uh, the Mavic Air 2. So everything you're gonna see here is with those two pieces of kit. There was no lighting involved except for ambience that was in the scene. And everything was shot at sunset or well past. So everything with the camera was shot between 8,000 ISO and 16,000 ISO. So pretty freaking high. So. Let's put me down below and let's watch this video. I will put the info for each shot, the camera, the lens, if I use denoiser or not. Yeah, anything else that comes to mind. You can watch the full video in its entirety in the first link below. I want to give the artist his love, but yeah, let's see my first Nikon Z6 music video. So right here, uh, Mavic Air 2 shots, revealing it away to the established location and masking the title. Right here, this is the first camera shot we have. The first three were all drone. This is on the 24 to 70 f4. I think I'm about 35 or 40 mil right here. And, uh, I'm focused in a way to really push him off the background, I want to blur it out, get the cinematic scene of the sunset. This scene, uh, none of these lights are mine. This is a courtyard in a fancy apartment complex. This is at 1600 ISO. Although it was decently well lit, the camera was still struggling. This is with denoiser. And this is with a pretty heavy grade. Um, the walls look bluish. They were gray. So something to note here, everything in this video was captured at 1080p 60. So I'm working in a 24p timeline and either playing things back in real time, which is all the performance shots you're seeing, all of his dancing, it's not slow mode. And if it is slow mode, like this shot here, that is a two and a half times, so it's 40% playback on the timeline uh, from the 60p clip. Uh, I do love the depth of field with this lens. The bokeh is pretty nice. Uh, because of the ISO, there is some grain. At 16,000 ISO, it's probably the limit that I would consider usable, and depending on the client, I wouldn't go past 8,000 going forward. Um, it does get a little wonky past that. And of course your export time and playback when you're editing is always gonna be more intensive when you have almost your entire timeline using denoiser. So it's gonna make things look smoother, but it's going to also kill some of your sharpness and kill your processor. So. As far as workflow goes, uh, this was manageable, but far from ideal. So I think we can pause here and talk about focus for a second. One of the big reasons I switched to this camera is the autofocus. Coming from the GH4 and renting the GH5, the autofocus was atrocious. It was completely unusable unless there was a very clear face that wasn't moving that much, and it was extremely well lit. Seeing the early reviews from the Z6's autofocus, I was uh, over the moon excited to try it out. And everything I shot here is using the tracking mode. So I'm using a gimbal 
and I'm trying to pop the screen up in a way that I can see it the most. And then whenever it's going off of focus, I'm clicking a face or the target and keeping it locked on. Uh, it kept tracking 70% of the time. Uh, I do do some pretty exaggerated movements and will come in low and high and then come back out where I might orbit pretty quickly. Um, tracking works reasonably well. And if it wasn't at nighttime, it's extremely good. At nighttime, it does get a little more wonky. You gotta be more attuned to it. Um, there is different autofocus modes. I haven't learned those yet. So this is all in tracking mode. I'm touching the track and I'm just watching it at all times. Um, and I'm pleased with it. It's entirely usable. I trust it. I probably only missed like three shots that actually were good, that could, that could be usable, but I had replacements to go in that spot. So uh, yeah, pleased with it. I give it a thumbs up, it, entirely usable for the lower to moderate range video budgets that I shoot. I think we'll conclude it there. What do you think? This is my first video with the Z6. I'm curious to get to play with it further and see how far I can push it. I need to get an Atomos Ninja so I can play with ProRes. But at this point, it's a massive upgrade and well worth the cost, I think. If you have the external recorder, this camera competes with most of the higher end cameras, whether it's the GH5 or the A7S III, as long as you kit it out a little bit. But yeah, that's what I got. First video, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any questions or things I should try out with this camera, uh, I'm gonna be putting it through its paces this next year or two. I'm loving Nikon so far, and yeah. So that's it. Love y'all. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next video.